Welcome to the virtual induction day of Holmer Green Sixth Form. I hope you and your families are safe and well at this unprecedented time. My name is Rachel Golding and I have the privilege of being the assistant head teacher in charge of our sixth form. We are currently living through uncertain and constantly changing times. And as things stand, we cannot predict exactly what school life will look like in September. But what we, you will experience today is what our sixth form has to offer. And obviously we will endeavour to fulfil our commitments as far as the government guidelines at the time allow. I hope that you find our induction day helpful, but after visiting all the presentations that are of interest to you, if you still have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me using the email address that you will find on the last slide of this presentation. I hope you enjoy our induction day and find it useful. I hope from this induction day, you will gain a sense of what our sick form and your subjects will expect from you in September. Our aim is to ensure that you understand what being part of our sick form will mean to you. I hope that it goes some way to build bridges with you and help you feel connected with us. We hope that the transition work set will prepare you for the start of your courses in September so we can make a smooth start to the new academic year. We are incredibly proud of our sick form and our sick formers. Year on year, they achieve outstanding results and the progress that they make puts our sick form well above average compared to sick forms nationally. These results and their engagement with our extensive extracurricular and enrichment opportunities and our outstanding UCAS support helps them gain places to top flight universities and competitive courses, some of which you can see on this slide. It's not just our university places we have to be proud of. Every student receives bespoke support from our careers advisor, attends a wide range of seminars given by local businesses and attends one week of work experience in the summer of year 12. All of these things help students to make decisions as to what direction their careers will go in and how their futures will progress. Students receive career action plans and application support which has helped them to gain highly prestigious apprenticeships. It cannot be denied that sixth form working is a big step up from year 11, but as a sixth form team, we appreciate this and you will receive plenty of support. The first big difference that you will encounter is private study. Sixth formers take three or four subjects and so will receive from 12 to 20 taught lessons out of 25 per week. Any lessons that are not taught are private study lessons and in the first half term, if government guidelines allow, they will be spent in the sixth form study areas. In these lessons, you'll be completing some of the five hours of additional work you will be set by each subject a week and also any additional independent reading around the subject. In the first half term, you will be given seminars of note taking, time management, avoiding procrastination and managing stress to support you to do this efficiently and effectively. We will check your progress every half term through internal assessments. There is plenty of support around you to help you cope with sick form life. The first happens even before you join by making sure that every student is on an appropriate course where they will thrive. 
Group sizes are smaller than many sick forms and our students really value the professional relationships that they build with their teachers and appreciate the lengths that they go to in supporting them in and out of the classroom. Each student is placed with a tutor who monitors their well-being and progress and is their first port of call if they have an issue. Academic progress is monitored closely and swift interventions are put into place should a student struggle or fall behind. If a student should need financial support in order to study, they can apply for a bursary which will cover the costs of study and travelling to sixth form. I firmly believe it is a privilege to be a Holmer Green sixth former. I know I'm bound to say that, it's my job. But I do think that any student who does come to our sick form is really lucky. But with that privilege comes responsibility. Here at Holmer Green, we do an awful lot for our sick formers, but we also expect an awful lot in return. And that is how we get the best from them and ultimately the best for them. Underpinning our sick form, we have a system called the right to roam. After proving themselves as a mature, independent and conscientious student in the first half term, a student is allowed to leave the building to study at home at lunchtime if they haven't got a taught lesson in the afternoon. Students value this flexibility and independence. In order to earn their right to roam, the students have to meet the criteria you can see on the slide. In order to show the outside world how Holmer Green Sick Formers mean business, we insist on a business style dress code that must be adhered to at all times. Exciting time at Holmer Green Senior School. Our return in September will see the opening of our new purpose-built sick form centre with upgraded ICT facilities, a larger study space and a brand new kitchenette. This will, pro will provide every student plenty of room to work in a comfortable environment conducive to concentration. The school will also open a brand new fitness suite which will be made available for sick formers to use out of school hours and the sick form will have exclusive use of their own dining space. Now you have completed our introduction to the sixth form, it is time to go through our virtual enrichment presentation. Please click on the link on the sixth form section of our website. Once you have looked through our enrichment presentation and seen all we have to offer for extracurricular and enrichment opportunities for our sick formers, please have a look through and complete the tasks in our Year 11 10 Step Transition Scheme. This consists of 10 sessions which are a combination of videos of interviews with previous sick form students, PowerPoint presentations, online resources and student tasks. Sessions are designed to prepare students for the step up to sick form studies and to the new challenges that life in sick form may present. Tasks include having a goal that drives you, how to make the best use of private study for your independent learning and how to cope with the leap from GCSE to A-level. Students are expected to complete all of the tasks, save them and to bring them into school in September.
In order to access the resources, click on the following link or the link that is on your invitation email. Use the access code NET321 to be able to access all of the tasks. Please make sure that you have a pen and paper in front of you so you can make notes or complete any tasks necessary. Thursday the 24th of June will take the structure of a normal curriculum day for induction. The vast majority of these lessons can be accessed on Teams. You will be emailed an invitation by the teacher from the subjects you have opted for. Please do note that these lessons are live, so you will need to join the session using the timings on your invitation emails. If you would like to see additional lessons uh, from other subjects, then please look at the subject links on the website. A minority of our lessons in biology, physics, art and design, art textiles, product design and photography with high practical content are not suited to teams. And so please click on the link on your invitation email or alternatively, on the taster lessons, which can be accessed on our website for your convenience. Don't forget, we will expect every student to complete the transition work in all of their subjects. This will need to be handed in in their first lesson in September. You should have been already sent it, or if you haven't, then you can find it on our website following the instructions on this slide. I'm sure you are all wondering what happens next. Over the next few weeks, you will receive an email about GCSE results day and sixth form enrolment. If you are a HGSS student, your results will be emailed to you first thing on Thursday the 12th of August. When you have received your results, if they meet our entry requirements, you'll be asked to book an enrolment appointment when you will come into school during Thursday the 12th or Friday the 13th of August to enrol for sixth form. If you are not currently a student at Holmer Green, on receiving your results, you will need to book an enrolment appointment for Monday the 16th or Tuesday the 17th of August, when you will need to come into Holmer Green, bringing in paperwork, including your results and proof of identity in order to enrol. Full instructions will be sent to you nearer the time. I hope you found this assembly informative and that it told you everything that you need to know about Holmer Green Sixth Form. If you still have any questions, please feel free to email me at my email address on the slide or Mrs Martin, our sixth form support officer. In the meantime, I hope you stay safe and well and have an enjoyable summer and I look forward to seeing you very soon. Take care. <laughs>